a great week of Big 12 football ahead of us. Uh, before we do, we kind of got to hop in to our pick them from last week. Um, a lot, lots of wins. This, this was a very interesting week. We both had a pretty big, uh, big miss, but I kind of canceled each other out here. As I pull it up here, you, you got another two points on me when it's all said and done. Um, but we both lost on West Virginia, both lost on Colorado State. You picked up four points um, with UCF. I picked up, um, you know, I was picked up two points against Kansas State. Um, oh, boy, I feel like it, I thought I had one game on you, but it doesn't look like it. So it's just the, the Drew Russell show. Um, up to boy, a four- both, of, both of us were real Colorado haters. I guess so. Yeah, Boy, I really, really. That's on us. Colorado State that's would be a big miss by both of us. Um, I think that the West Virginia miss, even though again both of us cancel each other out there, that one is definitely painful. But see, that point system definitely comes into play, Brandon, because I got a couple of teams right, but also my misses. I had more confidence in those misses than you did, and that that turned out to hurt me quite a bit. Yeah, really could have been the, the spot where you pulled away because it's also worth mentioning now that we're in conference slate, there's less games and less higher point totals to, to catch up on. So, I mean, I'm down five going into conference slate. That's not great. Still plenty of time. Still plenty of time, but it's a it's a tough spot to be. We really got to start hitting here, but we'll hop on the, the week four bandwagon. Uh, boy, this is – good things are with the Kansas-West Virginia game. Very – very significant game for, for both teams. Kansas going on the road to West Virginia. Both teams, like, like you said, feels like they have to win this game. And the loser is really going to be down in the mud uh, going into the final week in September. Um, I'll, I'll get it started. I'll take West Virginia um, up to eight points. Uh, let's split the difference. Let's go Let's go four. I feel like there's it's a good spot to be in. Boy, this is a tough tough game <laughs> i mean you have two very desperate teams who's more desperate and i feel like west virginia is playing better ball brandon like they did ha- like they just take care of their business last five minutes last week they win that's right um, that's like just take care of their business it's a different setup kansas just doesn't it looks out of sorts i'll take west virginia as well i'll do three i mean i'm going to Stay in line with you on this one. I'll say three, but I am going to go with the Mountaineers and uh, Country Roads take me home. Houston at Cincinnati. How are you feeling about the Cougars and the Bearcats? Boy, fascinating little contest here, Brandon. I'm going to take the home team in the Bearcats. I think Houston will fight them, but I just don't see enough offense from the Cougars. I think the Bearcats, I'm going to go a little more risky. I'm going to give them six points. Six points. Um, I'm I'm in the same boat with you. I like Cincinnati. Um, not a whole lot of games that I feel that great about. So I'm I'm gonna have to lean on on a higher number here. I'll go, I'll go five. I'll go five points. Um, yeah, I think the Bearcats. I mean, with Houston again, Houston I think is playing better football. I just don't think they're made a well road game yet. Granted. Just as I say that, like they did almost beat Oklahoma just weeks to go on the road. So I might eat those words next week, but I, I'm still going to go with the whole team, Bearcats, to get it done. Next game, uh, again, a very competitive slate of uh, football here. Uh, I'm going to give Iowa State my, my eight point pick at home against Arkansas State off the bye. This feels like a, a good spot for the clones. Probably a better spot than I, I would say anybody else on, on the sheet. Yeah, I got to give Iowa State uh, an eight as well, Brandon. It'll be interesting to see, again, they just had a hyper-emotional win over a week ago against Iowa. I think their bye week came in a terrific time. My goodness. But they were able to kind of just enjoy that win for a few days. I think they earned that opportunity. Now it's back to business this week. And I don't think there will be a hangover from that win. But my goodness, Iowa State likes to think, make things interesting historically. But I think they do take a, care of the Red Wolves on Saturday. And Arizona State and Texas Tank, where are you leaning here? Tough game, Brandon. I a close game via the line. I think it's a toss up. Uh, Arizona State's playing some inspired football. I like what they're doing. I am gonna say the Sun Devils get a road victory and I'm give it a light two points. 
I'm not going to go nuts on this one. I don't feel hyper confident, but I will give them two points that they're going to get it done. Yeah, I don't feel great about this game um, either. Lubbock's a tough place to play. Feels like their fans have their juice back. And I'll tell you what, Drew Russell, if they, they have a good win on Saturday, everything is back on the table for Texas Tech as far as what they want to accomplish, as far as playing Agreed. games in November that could possibly have them fall backwards in, in, into Arlington. Um, and I think they know that. Um, I think this will be the toughest spot that Sam Levitt's played in since he's gotten to, to Arizona State. Um, so because of that, give me Texas Tech, um, and I'll use my three-point game here. So it could be that, that a flip game that, that, that I need, uh, big spot here. I, I mean, for the love of God, if if Joey McGuire lets me down one more goddamn time, I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, See, that's what I kept thinking when I made that pick. I'm like, you know what? I've just been burned by him enough, and I probably will be burned again knowing my luck, but – you know what, Arizona State, they've played quality football. I think, why not? Yeah. I'll give them a benefit of the doubt, see if they can get it done again in Texas for a second straight week. And then up next, I mean, the, the biggest game of the, 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 the week for the conference, um, you know, I, we, we, when we were talking about the teams in the rankings, I have a hunch the winner of this game might sneak their way into the top 10, depending on how things shape up there. Oklahoma State at home, um, give me the home team, give me the Cowboys. Um, they feel very complete. I don't know what the status of Cam Rising is going to be. Um, I'm just going to use my one pointer here. Um, I, I'm not going to go crazy, but I think the Cowboys get it done at home. Yeah, you and I are on the exact same page. Uh, Utah is very light favorite, but that Rising injury is enough for me. I think Oklahoma State's played great football through the first three weeks, and I think they defend their home turf. Oklahoma State also one point as well. I we're just going to cancel each other out on that one. That's fine with me. No sweat uh, going into the game. We get our. Yep, our, I'm just going to enjoy that game. But we're just enjoy, we're just vibing Saturday afternoon on that game. That's right. TCU and SMU battle for the skillets. Um, great. I, I love. Well, one of my favorite things that I've gotten to learn since being in Dallas is how the rivalry between not just like SMU and TCU, but Dallas and Fort Worth as, as cities. They are they are nasty to each other. It is outstanding stuff. I love it. Um, who well, Where are you leaning here? Is that some you get Well, right? I'm going to pick our conference team yeah. in TCU. I'm going to take our conference team in TCU. You have to, Brandon. You've got to get that skillet in the conference. And you know what? I like this game for them. I'm going to go a five. A five for TCU. Uh, I think it'll be intriguing, though, and you're right. That's a great rivalry, great for – the Dallas Fort Worth area. I think it's the college fan base is definitely into it. I would love to see the two communities get into it a little bit more as well. I think that'd be really healthy for the rivalry. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I like TCU here. I, I like them with, with my six point pick. Um, boy, it feels like kind of what, what we had talked about with um, Texas tech it feels like if they can just get this one back on board, a road win against a rival, that settles the ship here because I, I think there's a lot of a lot of question marks around the program right now. So if they can just settle the ship there, it's a good opportunity for it. And up next, Baylor and Colorado. Um, interesting, interesting game because I don't feel good about either team uh, as a whole, but somebody's got to win. Um, and I've been saving my two pointer for this one. I like, I I kind of like Baylor. But uh, I'm not going to let Colorado burn me twice. Give me the Golden Buffaloes. And I'll gladly forfeit those two points if, if I end up on the wrong side of this. Yeah, I'm going Buffs as well for four, Brandon. It's funny that you and I had the same thought process, though. So <laughs> I'm surprised there's only a two-point spread, though, for Colorado at home. Uh, I think that's a very interesting line, considering that on paper, I think Colorado's a much better team. But – Baylor has an opportunity, Brandon. I mean, if they get this win here, I think that's going to definitely have you and I kind of wake up and smell the roses a little bit. That maybe the Baylor Bears might be able to find their way to a successful season going forward. But you're right. You and I got burned so badly by Colorado last week. Where I'm, I'll get burned by them again this week just on the other side. I can live with that result. Final game of the week, and I feel like we've been um, we've been on. 
holding this one back. So I think we're going to end up on the same page here. But give me Kansas State in seven. Uh, not, I'm an eight point game. If, if this was in Manhattan, this is probably my eight point game. Um, but Provo's weird. Um, but I think Kansas State's got the got, got the power, firepower to, to take care of business. Yeah, I feel like you and I kind of same thought process because it wouldn't shock me at all, Brandon, if BYU is driving late for a lead or a tie. Like they're tough at home. This is a Big 12 after dark game. The energy nice is game. definitely no. going to be off. Yeah, I mean, are, are you and I going to watch? Of course. Like, why wouldn't you? This is like That's prime from me or Big 12 football, in my opinion. But I've got Kansas State as well, seven points on my board as well. I think the big thing for them, just that defense continue to be filthy, continue to be nasty. If they generate multiple turnovers, this one's done. Sign, sealed, and delivered. It's all K-State. I love it. Um, admittedly, I don't think I would have saved that seven for them if I knew it was at 930. That's that's a tough spot to be in. BYU is kind of humming. You know, admittedly, like the only reason I feel confident is Iowa State was in a similar position last November. They had a 915 kick in Provo, but they won by 25. It oh. was not close. So, like, part of me is kind of just thinking, you know what? I'm overhyping this a little bit. Midwest team will take care of their business. But who knows? That's the beauty of the Big 12. And this is a really fun, pretty much every team outside of a couple are playing conference games this week. And some big season changers on the way. I mean, I think you're looking at potential conference, potential a statement either by Utah or Oklahoma State. One of those two is going to make a statement this weekend, whoever wins that game. West Virginia and Kansas, they're trying to save a season. I think it's a pair of teams that are interesting and like trying to either change a narrative or really up a narrative, Arizona State versus Texas Tech. That's a fascinating, fascinating game. Iron skillet game's great. I think in general, eight really good games for Big 12 teams this weekend. Good good weekend for the conference on the way. I think so, too. I think we'll know a lot more about these teams and how things are going to shape up here starting in October after this week. So any any final thoughts before we head off for the week? Brandon, I think another exciting week of college football. I think our teams, uh, it's weird. Uh, it's, it's an honor to be in the top 25 with the Nebraska Cornhuskers. I would say to 20, yeah. Nebraska at 22. It's, uh, well, for Nebraska, it's like old times because they're used to maybe still being a little bit higher, but at least back in the rankings. And uh, for Iowa State, I'm just happy to be here. So I'm going to, anytime I see a number next to Iowa State, I just take it. So great time to be a college football fan. And uh, for an NFL fan, it's a great time to be me and not a great time to be Brandon, but that's life.